hello everyone welcome to this new video where we are going to show that this technical limit is equal to zero when x tends to infinity to plus infinity so let's just start let's just rewrite this numerator in a simple way and also this denominator in a simple way so let's just start with the numerator we can see that for all x greater than zero we have the following x to the power x on to the power x is again equal to exponential x ln of x to the power x so this is using the property of ln and exponential function so this is again we can see that this x this power x can again come in front here so we'll just have this which is equal to exponential x times x ln of x okay so this is simply x exponential x square ln of x okay so the numerator so this numerator this numerator can again be written as this one as this so this is x to the power x everything to the power x which is again this now let's just see how this denominator can be written let's just write this in a simple way also so that the, the computer limit will be easy so let's just rewrite this so the numerator for the numerator we'll just have x to the power x to the power x which is equal to exponential this is also using the property of exponential and ln functions so it will just will just have exponential x to the power x ln of x okay so now if we want to rewrite our function now using the simple expression that we just compute we'll have x to the power x everything to the power x divided by x to the power x to the power x which is equal to be replaced with the simple expression so for the numerator we have exponential x square ln of x and for the denominator we have exponential x to the power x ln of x okay let's just write this one we know from the property of exponential function that we can send this up here and this the sign will change here so let's just do it we have this which is again equal to sorry let me change my pen which is again which is again equal to exponential x square minus x to the power x ln of x okay so this is our function so this is our function x to the power x everything to the power x divided by x to the power x to the power x now as we know that our function can be written like this so to find the limit of this function it is sufficient to compute the limit of this function okay now 
let's just compute the limit of this function now so it will be easy for us to find to just find the limit of this one here so and and what is the limit of this one here we know that at the neighborhood of in of plus infinity this power function grows more faster than than ln function so the limit of all this function will just be the limit of this function in front okay so let's just find the limit so if we have the limit of this function then this means that we have the limit of all this function okay so let's just find the limit of x square minus x to the power x so first note that x square minus x to the power x can be written as minus x to the power x to the factor of 1 minus x to the 2 minus x okay this is simple if you want to 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 see this it's easy to just pull this term inside here and you will still get the same term here okay so what is this this is again if we if you apply the property of the ln and exponential function here and here we'll just give we'll just have that this is again minus exponential x ln of x times 1 minus exponential 2 minus x ln of x okay so we have this okay now as we know that x square minus x to the power x can be written like this now when x when x tends to plus infinity we can easily see that this one here this one here tends to minus infinity why because the limit of of all this this is because the limit of 2 minus x ln of x will just be the limit of will just be the limit of this one here and what is the limit of this one when x tends to plus infinity we have minus x here this will just be minus infinity so when x tends to plus infinity all this term tends to minus infinity okay let me write it more properly okay when x tends to plus infinity then 2 minus x ln of x tends to minus infinity i just explained this one this is just because we don't we just compute the limit of this when x tend to plus infinity and we can see that we have minus x here which is just minus infinity okay okay now we know already the limit of this here so 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 we have uh, exponential 2 minus x ln of x 
which will just tend to zero. This is just because the term here tends to minus infinity as we show it here. So exponential something minus infinity will just be zero and just be zero. Okay. So this tends to zero. This means that all this here, all this one here will just tends to will just tends to one. Yeah, this is just because this one tends to zero and will just stay with this with this one here. Sorry. Okay. So so we have. Uh, Minus one minus exponential two minus x ln of x tends to one when x tends to plus infinity. Okay. Now we are just going to compute now this this limit in front here we show already that this one tends to one now let's just compute this one okay so we are going to compute the limit of minus exponential x ln of x okay what is this limit to compute this limit let's just note that when x tends when x tends to plus infinity this one here will just tends to plus infinity so if x tends to plus infinity then x ln of x stands also to plus infinity this is just because to compute this limit here it is sufficient to compute the limit of x because the this power function grows more faster than ln function at the neighborhood of plus infinity so to compute this limit it is just sufficient to compute the limit of x at plus infinity which is plus infinity okay so as i know that this one is plus infinity this mean that exponential x ln of x will also tend to plus infinity so this is exponential something at plus infinity will just be plus infinity okay now as my function is minus this one so i will just put so as this one tends to plus infinity minus exponential x ln of x will just tends to minus infinity okay so as i know that as i have compute the two limits here i compute already this i compute already this one and i so that it is equal to one and this one here is equal to minus infinity so i can easily see that this one is minus infinity that's what i just show you now so i can now write x square minus x to the power x which is equal to minus x ln of x times let me write it down here 1 minus exponential 
to sorry two minus x ln of x is the limit the limit of this when x tends to plus infinity minus x to the power x is just minus infinity which is the limit of this one here times one which is the limit of this one here okay which is minus infinity now i saw that uh, my function was equal to x to the power x everything to the power x divided by x to the power x to the power x which was equal to exponential x square minus x to the power x ln of x now it is now simple to just find this limit the limit of this so i know that this one tends to minus infinity so all this one here all these terms here will just tends to minus infinity because as i explained you at the neighbor of infinity this function grows more faster than ln function so to compute the limit of all this one is sufficient to just find the limit of this one okay so this is again equal to if i come to the limit let's just come to the limit i will just have the limit when x tends to plus infinity of all this will just be the limit of this one here which is just exponential all this one as i as i explained to you tends to minus infinity which is just exponential minus infinity which is equal to zero so we just so that this limit the limit when x tends to plus infinity of x to the power x to the power x divided by x to the power x to the power x is equal to zero i hope you understood thank you for watching the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you